Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the part of the world where you are today. Welcome to the first day of the 50 days fasting and prayer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. We want to thank the Lord for another opportunity he has granted us for us to gather once again to fast and seek his face. This time last year, we were also gathered together to fast and pray and the Lord has kept us alive in his mercy to join with his saints once again and come to seek his face. I pray as we start this 50 days fasting and prayer, the Lord will strengthen us, he will help us so that as we start, we finish stronger than ever before in Jesus name. Amen. Today, our prayer is focused on thanksgiving and gratitude unto the Lord. I'm sure you will agree with me that we have a lot of things to be grateful for. And that is why we want to start with thanksgiving. The Bible says, enter his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. So we want to appreciate the name of the Lord for the grace he has given us to still be on the land of the living. Our first Bible reading is in Psalm 101 verse 1. It says, I will sing of mercy and justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing praises. As we come before his presence today, we are going to sing praises. We are going to lift up our voice and appreciate him for what he has done and what we know he has the plan to do, even as we go through this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Secondly, we'll be reading Psalm 105 from verse 1 to verse 5. It reads, O give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, Sing to him, sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works which he has done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. This passage was telling us that we should remember what the Lord has done. We should not have memory loss. We should not have what the medical doctors we call dementia. No, we should always remember what the Lord has done. And we should always share it and bring it to mind whenever we face other problems or challenges in life. Because the Lord has done this before, we'll still do more. That is one of the things that David did. When he was facing Goliath, he remembered, he said, I can remember that God had delivered me from the lion, from the bear. The same God will deliver me from this giant. And this giant will fall like one of them. And that was what happened. Many of us have received testimonies of God's goodness, of God's greatness. But we are quick to forget. But we keep asking the Lord, oh God, you have not answered my prayers. But the ones he has answered, have we gone back to thank him? Or we are like nine of those ten lepers that did not remember to go back to God and say thank you for the healing we have received. So today we are going to give thanks to the Lord with a grateful heart. And I believe the Lord will dwell in our praises as we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll also be reading Psalm 136. I'm sure many of us remember this psalm. When I was discussing um, about gratitude, thanksgiving with them on Sunday, I told them that the writer of this psalm was giving a testimony of what the Lord did for the Israelites, even while they were passing through the wilderness. And this is just an example for us because we can also write a psalm of what the Lord has done for us. I don't know how many years we've spent on the land of the living, even if it's 10, 15, 20 years. I'm sure we can remember the things the Lord has done for us and say, thank you, Jesus, for when you rescued me, when I was sick, in that ghastly accident, you saved me when everyone lost their lives for your mercy endures forever. So when we are reading this Psalm 136, I don't want you to just think it's a psalm showing what the Lord did for the Israelites. It can also be a sign depicting what the Lord has done. That King Og of Bashan, King Sion of the Amorites, can represent one of the challenges we have also passed through. People that have threatened our existence, people that have threatened our peace that the Lord rescued us from. So as we read this psalm, I want us to relate it to our own daily life. I want us to relate it to the victory the Lord has wrought for us so that it can have deeper meaning to us. And I pray the Lord will help us as we do so in Jesus' name. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for his mercy endures forever. 
to him who alone does great wonders for his mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endures forever. To him who laid out the earth above the waters for his mercy endures forever. To him who made great light for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day for his mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn for his mercy endures forever. And brought out Israel from among them for his mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm for his mercy endures forever. To him him who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever, and made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever, but overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever, to him who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever, to him who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever, and slew famous kings, for his mercy endures forever, Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever. And gave their land as an heritage, for his mercy endures forever. A heritage to Israel is servant, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our lowly state, for his mercy endures forever. And rescued us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever forever all give thanks to the god of heaven for his mercy and just forever i want us to open our mouth and begin to give him thanks begin to give him praise for his word is to be praised there is none like him father we worship you lord we lift you high we exalt your majesty oh you are a faithful god you are a mighty god you are a god that changeth not oh reliable god we lift you high father we exalt your name we give you all the glory all the honor all the adoration we say father you are worthy to be praised for the grace you've given us to come to seek your face father we thank you we give you all the praises we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we say you are worthy you are worthy you are worthy to be praised you're worthy to be lifted up you're worthy to be glorified thank you jesus for the great and mighty wonders you did in our life thank you jesus for saving us thank you jesus for deliverance thank you jesus for rescuing us thank you jesus for exemption from every evil, oh, the thousands that's falling by our side, and the ten thousand by our right hand, they did not come near our house because of your mercy. Father, we worship you. We give you the glory, the honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. We give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Oh, we give you praise god we give you praise for all you've done god we give you praise we say for all you've done god we give you praise Hallelujah, God, we give you praise. We honor you, we honor you, we honor you, Lord. We honor you, we honor you, we honor you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We worship you, Jesus. We bow before your throne. We say you are wonderful. We say you are glorious. We say you are beautiful. You are exceptional. You are the God who is and needs to come. Unchanging Father, we worship you. 
Our life belongs to you, Lord. Our existence belongs to you, Lord. Even if we have 10,000 tongues, it's not enough to worship you. It's not enough to exalt you. Thank you, Jesus, for healing. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for sound mind. Thank you, Jesus, for all you have done for us. Oh, because we have life. Oh, our life belongs to you. Our breath belongs to you. Every part of our body belongs to you. Father, we give you all the glory. We cannot praise you enough. Enough. We cannot thank you enough. We worship you, Jesus. We exalt your majesty. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. I want us to think of all the Lord has done for us and show our gratitude and demonstrate our thanks to the Lord for all he has done for us. We should not be ingrate. We should not live a life of ingratitude because the Lord has done great and mighty things for us. Many of us are unable to thank the Lord because instead of counting our blessings, we are counting the blessing of others. We are comparing our life with the life of others. I want us to appreciate the Lord, even as Anna did in 1 Samuel chapter 2. And I praise the Lord and I thank the Lord for forgiving our children, for putting to shame our enemies, for raising her up beyond our own expectations. I want us to also thank the Lord and say, Father, I thank you for answered prayers like Anna. We come before you to say thank you for those prayers of last year you answered. We come to say thank you. Father, we appreciate you. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for keeping our going out and coming in. We say thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you for provision. Oh, we thank you for healing. We thank you for your hand, Lord. Your powerful hand that is working in our life. Accept our thanks, Father. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. We are going to say, Father, I thank you for creating me in your own image. The Bible says in Genesis 1.27, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created him. Just imagine, if God did not create you and I in his own image, it means we probably will be one of the animals or even a bird, beautiful one at that. But still, our lifespan will be short, not like the man whom God had given dominion over all the animals, over everything he created. Let us pray and say, Father, thank you for creating me in your own image. Thank you, Father, for creating me in your own image and likeness. Oh, Father, I thank you because you created me in your own image. You gave me your spirit. You gave me your breath. Oh, Father, we appreciate you for creating us in your own image. Father, we worship you. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for creating us in your own image. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. We bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for creating us in your own image. Oh, what an honor. What a honor. What a privilege. Oh, Father, we thank you for such honor you bestow upon us, for choosing us Lord, for creating us in your own image. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. In the book of Genesis 1.31, the Bible says, Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. On the sixth day, God created man. And when God created you and I, he looked at us and said, Ah, you are good. You are looking beautiful. The Bible says, We are wonderfully created. We have been crafted by the hand of the Lord, the one that can create all things. He molded us. He shaped us the way we have. We're going to say, Father, thank you, Lord, for creating me and declaring me good after creating me in Jesus' name. Father, thank you, Lord, for when you saw me after creating me, you declared me good. Thank you, Jesus, because I am good according to your pronunciation. Thank you, Jesus, because there is no bad thing in me. Oh, thank you, Jesus, because I am created, Lord, for great and mighty things. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for declaring me good. I give you the glory, Father. We give you the honor, Jesus. We bless your name. After creating me, you saw no flaws in me. I am not a mistake. I was not a mistake of, of conception. I am not a mistake of conception. Ah, Father, you were intentional in creating me. You were intentional in choosing me. 
Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm not a mistake. It doesn't matter the circumstance through which I came forth. I am not a mistake. The Lord created me. The Lord is intentional. You say, even while I was in the womb, you have chosen me to be a prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Because when you created me, you called me good and I am still good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Because I am wonderfully and fearfully created. Oh, marvelous are your works, oh Lord. Oh, you called me marvelous. You called me wonderful. You called me beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. For that, Lord, you have created me to be. I give you the glory. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. In Genesis 1, 26, God also told man, he said, then God said, let us make man in our own image according to our likeness. And the reason is that they should have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over everything that creeps on the earth. When God created the earth, the heaven and the earth, he gave us the mandate. He gave us the work to come and dominate over the work of his hands. Oh, what a great honor. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for giving me dominion over all the works of your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Even the things you created before us in the creation, we are the last born of creation, but still the Lord gave us the power to rule over the animals he created before us, to rule over the light he created before us, to rule over the seas he created before us. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for granting us dominion. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us the power to dominate. Oh, Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. Ah, oh, Father, we appreciate you. We give you the glory, Lord, for such honor you bestowed upon us to dominate your creation. Not because we are good, but because of your mercy. Father, we appreciate you for the position we find ourselves today is by your mercy. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, we give you the glory. We lift you high, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. All glory, honor, and adoration belong to you. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. In John 3, 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. What love the Father has towards us, that he gave his only begotten son. The Bible says, even while yet we were sinners Christ died for us and he even told us, he said I have loved you with an everlasting love it means nothing can change the love of God for us because even when we were dead in sin he sent his son to come and die for us, let us say Father thank you for the gift of salvation for mankind thank you Lord for the gift of salvation for mankind, Father we thank you for the gift of salvation for us mankind, we give you the glory, we give you the honor Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you for the gift of salvation. Where would I have been? Where would you have been if not for the gift of salvation? If not for the light of salvation? If not for the light of salvation that dispelled darkness from our continent? Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you the glory, the honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Like I tell people, if not for Jesus that came, if not for the gospel of Jesus that came to change the trajectory of how the world was going, many of us will not be alive today. Many of us will have been used as sacrifice to appease the gods of our land. Many of us will have been worshipping the dead gods of our ancestors. But the Lord came. He came to intervene. He came to take us from the power of darkness. He rescued us from the kingdom of darkness into his own kingdom. And now we have freedom. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Thank you, Jesus, for rescuing us from the power of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for showing us the way to the Father. Thank you, Jesus, for reconciling Silent us back to the Father. We give you the glory, Father. We bless your name. Thank you. Oh, all glory, honor, and adoration belong to you. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. John 14, 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus came to show us the way, to open up the way for us to go to the Father. Father, thank you for showing unto me the only way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to the world, for coming 
coming to sacrifice yourself so as to reconcile us back to God. Oh, Father, we thank you for coming to reconcile us back to yourself. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for you are the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you for revealing yourself to us. Thank you for revealing yourself to us. Thank you for leading us, Lord, along the way we should walk. Thank you for leading us along the path we should follow. Oh, we give you the glory. You didn't allow us to walk in darkness. You didn't allow us to walk aimlessly, looking for the way to God. You came to show us the way. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for showing us the way. Thank you, Jesus, for directing us. Thank you, Jesus, for reconciling us. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Psalm 62 verse 1 says, Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. We can see there is no salvation in any other. From the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. The only person that can give us salvation, the only name by which we are saved is the name of Jesus. But to say, Father, thank you for the salvation of my soul. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the salvation of my soul. Father, thank you for the salvation of my soul. Oh, Father, without you, I would not have been saved. There is no other way, there is no other name that has been given for us to be saved except the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the salvation you brought. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. Thank you for the salvation of my soul. Thank you for the salvation of my children. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation of my family. Thank you for the salvation of my husband. Thank you for the salvation of my parents. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for the salvation of my siblings. Thank you, Jesus, for your salvation. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for your saving grace upon us, Lord. Thank you for your sustaining grace. Thank you for your enabling grace. We give you the glory, Jesus. We give you the honor, Father. We say, blessed be the name. Thank you for saving us from the power of darkness. Thank you for saving us from reprobate mind. Thank you for saving us the lust of the flesh, from lust of the eyes, from every pride of life. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for saving us. We appreciate you, Jesus. Oh, all glory, honor, and adoration belong to you. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. We're going to pray. Father, thank you for my sanctification. Thank you, Lord, for sanctifying me. Thank you, Lord, for cleansing me. Father, we thank you for sanctifying us. Thank you, Lord, for my sanctification. Oh, Father, thank you for my sanctification. In the book of 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 13, it says, But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. Thank you, Jesus, for choosing us for sanctification and sanctification. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us to save us and to sanctify us by your spirit. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for sanctification. Father, we thank you for sanctifying us, for cleansing us, Lord, for making us fit for your use, for making us fit for your use. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for sanctifying us. Thank you, Jesus, for sanctification. We thank you, Lord, for the grace of being chosen. Have Father, that we appreciate you. We bless your name. All glory, honor, and adoration belong to you. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy that endures forever over my life. Ah, in Lamentations chapter 3 it says, through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. And this mercy, they are renewed every morning. Every day we wake up, we have a loading dose of mercy. We have a loading dose of compassion. The Lord has given us to us. Father, thank you for your mercy that endures forever, for your unending mercy over my life, over my family, over my husband, over my children. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We are grateful. We are grateful for your mercy that endures forever, for your mercy that changes not, for your mercy that cannot finish, for your mercy that is sustaining us. We give you the glory, Lord, for your mercy. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for renewed mercy over our lives, for renewing mercy every morning over our life. We appreciate you, Lord, for renewing mercy day by day over our life. Thank you, Jesus, for the inexhaustible 
mercy you have given unto us. Oh, unending mercy you have given unto us. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're still going to pray. Thank you, Lord, for renewing your mercy every morning over my life. For renewing your mercy every morning over my children. For renewing your mercy every morning over my husband. For renewing your mercy every morning when I go out and when I come back in. Thank you, Jesus, for renewing your mercy. Oh, thank you, Father, for choosing to have mercy upon us. The Bible says, you will have mercy on whom you will have mercy upon. And you chose to have mercy upon us. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for choosing us worthy to have mercy upon us. We thank you for every morning. You give us a renewed mercy. You give us a new mercy. We bless your name, Daddy. We give you the glory. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Many of us sleep and we wake up. It's not the alarm clock that wake us up. Psalm 3 verse 5 says, I laid down, I slept. I awoke for the Lord sustained me. It is the sustainers of the Lord that make us to sleep and wake up. It is not by our power. We're going to say, Father, thank you for the grace of sleeping and waking up every day. Ah, it's not by my power. It's not by my might. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. Oh, it is by your mercy we are alive. It is by your mercy we open our eyes to see a new dawn. Oh, we thank you. Every time I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for sustaining us. Thank you, Lord. Ah, you rescued us from every arrow that flies by day, held the terror by night. You saved us. You did not allow the plan of the enemy to come to pass against our life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace of sleeping and waking up. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us up by yourself. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for sustaining us by yourself. Thank you, Jesus, for building an edge of fire around around us and saving us from every attack in our sleep and saving us from every attack against us. Oh Lord, we give you the glory. We bless your name Father. We couldn't have kept ourselves except the Lord keep us. Ah, those that are keeping us are doing it in vain. You are the only God that can keep. You are the God that does not sleep nor slumber. We thank you Jesus for keeping us throughout the night and waking us every morning. Thank you for sustenance. Thank you Lord for guidance. Thank you for for deliverance, unseen battles that you have delivered us from. Father, we appreciate you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray. Father, I thank you for forgiving my past attitude of ingratitude. Ah, Father, thank you, Lord, for forgiving my past attitude of ingratitude. In any way, I've not been grateful for all the blessings you have given me. In any way, I've not been grateful for all the past things you have done for me. Oh, Father, we ask, Lord, that you forgive me me. Oh, Father, Lord, thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for forgiveness. How ah, we appreciate you, Lord, for forgiving our past attitude of ingratitude. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy that spoke, Lord, even when we went astray. Thank you for your faithfulness, even when we were unfaithful. Thank you, Lord, for staying true to your word, even when we went astray. Oh, Father, we appreciate you. We exalt your majesty. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray. Father, Father, thank you for keeping every member of our family. Many of our family members, they travel, they are not even where we are, but the Lord has kept them. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping every member of our family alive. Oh, Father, we thank you for keeping every member of our family alive by your mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping them alive. Thank you, Jesus, because you are with them wherever they are. Thank you, Jesus, because you are sustaining them. You are upholding them. You are empowering them. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for keeping our family members wherever they are. Thank Thank you, Jesus, for divine protection. Thank you, Jesus, for divine provision. Thank you, Jesus, for doing what no man can do in our life, in our family. We appreciate you. Oh, Father, we lift you high. We exalt your name for divine protection, for divine provision, for protecting us. Oh, Father, we thank you for providing for us. Ah, Father, when we were stranded and we had no help, you are our present help in times of trouble. You came through for us. You didn't allow us to be put to shame. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Psalms 91 verse 1 to 5 says, 
He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. The Lord has delivered us from from the snare of the fowler. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for delivering us from the perilous pestilence. Thank you, Jesus, because you covered us with your feathers and under your wings, Father, we have taken refuge. Thank you, Lord, because your truth is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Jesus, because we shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, because you are always there for us, because you are always keeping us. Thank you, Jesus, for all these blessings. We appreciate you. We give you the glory. All the glory, honor, and adoration belong to you. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Ah, Psalm 107 verse 20 said, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. We're going to thank the Lord. Thank you for divine healing. Thank you, Lord, for healing us. Thank you for sending your word to heal us. Thank you for sending your word to deliver us from every form of oppression, from every form of destruction. We thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering delivering us from every form of oppression, of destruction, from every arrow of sickness. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering us from every arrow of sickness. We are grateful, Daddy. We are grateful, Daddy. All glory, honor, and adoration belong to you. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray. Father, thank you for your wind blowing in my favor. Thank you, Lord, for your wind that is blowing favor into my family, blowing favor into my life, blowing favor into my husband and my children, blowing favor into your church, blowing favor into our nation. Thank you for your wind of favor that is blowing towards us. Father, thank you for your wind of favor that is bringing blessing, that is bringing blessing, that is bringing open doors, that is bringing abundance into our life. Oh, Father, we appreciate you. We give you the glory. You are worthy to be praised. Even if we have 10,000 tongues, it's not enough to worship you. Father, we just want to worship you. From the at from the depth of our heart. We say you are worthy. We say you are worthy. You are worthy, daddy. You are worthy, daddy. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor for unseen blessings, for the great deliverance you've granted unto us. Blessed be the name, O oh Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name. Father, we pray, Lord, even as we go through today, give us the grace to continuously thank you and give praise unto your name. The irrespective of what is going on with us in Jesus name. Father, we thank you. Oh, Father, accept our thanks today and let it bring glory to your name. Let it bring honor to your name, Father, in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining us to pray. Don't forget to like, to share, to comment and to subscribe to this channel. And I believe the Lord will bless us as we do so in Jesus name. Do have a blessed day ahead. Shalom.